Uh, first and foremost, man, what a game. Um, you know, two good teams, really competitive, um, really proud of our guys. We continued to fight. Uh, you know, we, we, we missed some shots that we felt like we were capable of making in the first half, and they made some tough shots. And for our guys to be down 10 at the half, but not to panic, to stay together, and to fight their butts off in the second half. You know, I'm really, really proud of them to be down 10, then to go up 10. Um, in the first half, we had zero offensive rebounds. We had nine in the second half. Uh, these two guys were terrific, getting to the basket, making plays. Uh, we were trying to search for matchups, and they did a good job of attacking those matchups. And then, man, Will Jeffers came in, and what just the spark that he gave us defensively, uh, you know, he, he fought. I mean, he fought like he battled. He was physical. Um, you know, Coach Brown made a great suggestion in timeout on the under out of bounds. He saw how they were playing a play that we ran earlier for Bub, and it worked. Will did a great job of faking the handoff and going in and dunking it. Uh, so just really, really proud of our guys. He's a perfect example of staying ready when your opportunity comes to be ready, and he did a really good job. We got to clean up how we end it in the game. We made it a little bit more interesting than it needed to be. Uh, but really, really proud of our guys after losing a tough one on the road uh, in the last few seconds uh, to respond and to come back and to fight like this and beat a good team. Ish, what, what was going for you guys offensively in the second half? 50 points. That was a big surge for you all. Uh, just like Coach said, uh, we saw matchups we liked, and uh, he had full trust in us to make the right play when we took advantage of those matchups. So I think that's what we did, and we did a great job of doing it. Question for Bob. I mean, how, how do you guys not get frustrated in the locker room at halftime when the shots aren't falling? It's been a tough place for you guys to score here in this building. How do you guys remain composed and go out there and put up 50 in the second half? Um, Coach T O2 actually made a great point before the game, and he was like, you got to have the utmost um, – expectation in yourself and your best self and your teammates best self and we just kept repeating that at halftime like look we know we're going to come out and be our best and we expect each other you know to be at their best and I guess it was just a trusting you know trust it's really hadn't played very much over the past three games how does a guy like that stay ready for a moment like this man uh all credit to Will his mental is strong um he sees the opportunity, his name was called, and he made the most of it. And we didn't expect anything other for him than to make that impact. So if you know Will like we know him, uh, you know he's a resilient guy, and he makes the best with, with everything he does. Ish, this is four straight games with 10-plus points for you off the bench. I mean, what has allowed you to really be so successful in this sixth-man role? Uh, just trusting my work. Uh, me and the guys, we just put a, a ton of work into basketball in general. So just going out there. Trusting your work, and uh, I live with the results regardless of if it's good or bad. Is it any different for you compared to being a starter? Oh, um, no. I mean, uh, it's basketball at the end of the day. Like, I'm just trying to help my team win. So that's what I go out there and do. Well, it's just a similar question to Bob that Bob got. What did you see? What kept the fight going? What was different this time that, that kept you guys going through, through the tough times? Uh, we're just a connected group, honestly. Like, we came in at halftime. We, we addressed things that needed to be done, and we went out and executed them. And we had the utmost uh, trust in each other to, to take care of their assignments, and we did that. What went into you guys' defense plan? Cam Hildreth is a guy who's made big plays for Wake Forest for years, averages 15 points. You guys held him to four. Um, I guess just trusting the scout. You know, yeah. trusting we what, go over scout. Way too many times, honestly. So just trusting the scout, tr knowing what a guy's going to do, and just having the will to go out there and actually defend it. Well, you played 40 minutes tonight, but you played really well at the end of the game. Where do you get that, that kind of stamina? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't lie to you, say like I work like a run, but like I, I would say just like the will. I guess I didn't want to come out, so it's like I can't show the coach that I'm tired or anything. You know, just keep fighting. Were you tired? N no. <laughs> Guys, going, going back to Will just for a second, I mean, were you able to, you know, you're in the game, you're, you're focusing on your assignments, were you able to see how he was defending Reed down there? I mean, it seemed like it was just all energy. Were you guys able to see what he was doing and feed off of how he was playing? Yeah, that energy was definitely contagious. Like, we saw him working, and as his brother, we have no option but to work just as hard. So that energy was contagious, that positive energy is just what, what sparked us, honestly. Ish, there was a possession where you were on Efton. After read down low, and it was you know, a matchup that they thought they liked. You ended up getting a steal. What was what were you thinking in that moment to try to counter a guy of that size? Uh, just like Bob said, the will, the will to win. Uh, 
I'm not gonna say I wanted it more, but I want I want a lot from my team, and that play presented itself, and it was a positive one, so I, I made it. Of how important is it to get a win in ACC play at home? You guys hadn't had one before tonight. Very important, very important, just because we got an amazing student section to come out there and actually perform for them. It feels amazing because they're always gonna be a, they're always gonna be cheering for us. Good job. <laughs> nice job. Jeff, what was what was the defensive adjustment? Because I mean, Wake Forest offensively seemed like they were getting a lot of things they wanted, and then in the second half, it seemed like you guys took a lot of things they wanted away. I thought we did a decent job in the first half. They made some tough shots. Um, I just thought the competitive urgency in the second half that we had uh, every possession. Um, I, I just thought that that really ramped up. Uh, you know, the fact that we were able to make a couple of shots. I thought that that increased our energy on the defensive end. I think guys had a little bit better feel of the game, of how the game was being played and things like that. I just think, but the competitive urgency, I would say, was the main thing. Jeff, you've gone to Will to guard, you know, dominant post players in previous games. What was the difference you think you saw from him tonight compared to recent efforts? Well, I just think, look, he's played well when he's gotten in the games. I know the past few games he hasn't played as much. That's why I'm really proud of him to stay ready. Will's a guy that he shows up every day to practice. He has an unbelievable attitude. He's an unbelievable teammate. Um, and he was just ready. You know, he has grown so much in his time here. And, you know, last year, or he didn't play last year, a couple of years ago, he wouldn't have physically been able to do that. The physical toughness and the mental toughness that he has gained over the past year with dealing with the injury, fighting through that, um, I just think that's why he was able to, number one, he stayed ready. He works. He's smart. You know, not just not just defensively what he did, and he was terrific, but he was playing a spot at the five offensively where we don't – he hasn't really practiced a lot there and done a lot. So the, the plays being able – and he said it, he did an unbelievable job of setting screens. Like it's something that a lot of people won't notice, but he was very, very physical in his screens – which allowed Bub to get downhill, get the spots, you know, created that space where we were able to score there as well. Is that a spot where you could see him getting more time at moving forward? I could see him getting more time, just period. You know, when you perform like he performed today, you know, you earn yourself more playing time. You talked before about how this team needs to play through physicality and, and rise to the left to the level that the other teams give. It seemed like Wake Forest was very physical. What, what do you think you saw from your team that was different than before? I just thought, again, we didn't give in to it. We were down 10 at the half. We missed a, a lot of shots that we felt like we got good looks, getting the spots. And the competitive urgency maintained and went to a different level in the second half. Um, again, we were able to score in the second half. The ball went through the basket. Uh, and maybe that increased our energy a little bit. But right away in the second half, I saw that we were, you know, the competitive urgency was there. Not that it wasn't before, but it was at a different level. We talked at halftime, and I told them, you've played hard, but it requires harder. You know, we've been physical, but we have to be more physical. Like, this is what the game requires. And it's a message that I've been trying to get us to understand really all year, like what's required to win. It was great to see us come out in the second half, really all game, but especially in the second half, to go to a different level to see to show ourselves that we can do that. Jeff, you had uh, seven, basically seven guys play tonight. Three of them played at least thirty-six minutes. Is that sustainable going down the stretch? If it needs to be, yeah. I think we did something like that last year, so if it needs to be, yeah. Jeff, we've seen a couple of times with Ish having big second halves and leading. Is he also one of those sparks like Will that does a lot of different things for you? Yeah, I look at Ish. Like to me, he's a starter. And I know he's the sixth man and right now or coming off the bench. But I, I look at him as a starter. He plays starter minutes. He's in at the end of the game. He's one of our better players. He's someone that we really, really believe in both on both sides of the floor. Obviously, he scored today. I thought he was outstanding defensively as well. He's getting in better shape after being out, you know, not just missing the game, but he missed practices. And so he's getting where he can now sustain the amount of minutes and being able to play hard all of those minutes. Um, and he does give us a spark. You know, and it's interesting. I, I've debated the past few games, do we start him? And, you know, again, he's playing starter minutes. It is good to have that spark coming off the bench, you know. And so, again, I'm not saying that it will continue to be that way, 
We just need him to, to continue to be really good in whatever role that he's in. And and it's an important role. It's a huge role for our team. Bob and Jalen play a lot of minutes for you guys, too, and it seems like they're responsible for a lot on both ends of the court. And Bob was talking about the scout tape. How much, how mature do you see them in just the way they study the game to be ready for practice, let alone game? Yeah, I, I think all of our guys do. And those two guys, it's impressive for freshmen, you know, how much tape they watch. Not just the stuff that we do, and we try to do a lot and try to give our guys a lot. But those two guys and other guys on our team do it. Like, they watch as well. They record games. They, you know, of our opponents. And they'll watch and they'll talk to each other. Those two guys are roommates. And so they'll talk to each other about it. I'll hear our guys talking in practice about it. And so, you know, that's a pretty cool thing that our guys do that.